Hey everyone, this is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California, coming to you on Monday morning, October 26, 2020. For those that attended yesterday's sermon on discernment, you already know that we're going to be fasting Wednesday for 24 hours for wisdom and discernment. So I've made this 24 hour, so it's a cover some basic details, 24 hour fast and prayer for end time wisdom and discernment. The fast begins, let me bring up the calendar, today's Monday. So the fast begins actually Wednesday. The 28th, no matter what time zone you're in or what country you're in, right after midnight. So if you go to bed and you're sleeping Tuesday night on the 27th, it's whenever you wake up in the morning for 24 hours. And it begins again after midnight. When early Wednesday morning, when Wednesday first begins on the 28th and runs till the next midnight. So just after you start, right after midnight on early Wednesday morning, whether you're sleeping or not, fast for 24 hours till the next midnight or the next morning. You may choose the fast of your, uh, your own choice, a Daniel fast, if it's all good. We've decided it's all going to come down to your health. If you have extreme dietary restrictions, like based off something like uh, diabetes or, or some type of thing like that, that the Lord hasn't delivered you from yet, then fast off the internet. If you're a heavy coffee drinker, give up co coffee for 24 hours. If you're if you like to eat a lot and are just a really big eater, eat half as much. So you can do anything from water only for 24 hours to no internet, no coffee, no sweets. Give up something for 24 hours that means something to you. You know, make it hurt. Give up something that you want to do. Don't make this just an easy thing for you. You know, make it be a little difficult for 24 hours because what you are doing is you are giving up something of the flesh during this 24 hours. You're giving that up for God. And the most important thing of any fast is when you normally would eat or if you would normally go check Facebook or if you would normally have a cup of coffee in the morning and you're replacing that item. <clears throat> then pray and read the Bible during that time. So <clears throat> you are replacing something you're giving up to God for 24 hours that feeds your flesh, and you're going to replace it with praying for wisdom. Praying for wisdom and praying for the gift of discernment and better discernment. I have three scriptures here, James 4, 2 and 3, James 1 and 5, and 1 Corinthians 12 and 10. You can write these down. You can write down your prayer request to God that I need. Tell You know, you don't want, you need. You need more in time discernment of both doctrine, remember this, of both doc true doctrine and testing the spirits. You need discernment and spiritual discernment both. And wisdom. That's what you're praying for. Discernment. The spiritual gift of discernment. And wisdom. Thank you Jesus. So I want to back this up with scripture. We're going to do this for 24 hours in these last days. And just make sure our head's on straight for God. You know what I mean? It's pretty basic. <clears throat> Here's some scriptures, James 4, 2 and 3. It says, you lust and have not. You kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. 
I, I received a, a prophetic word that these were that we we were asking for things of the flesh when God prefers you ask for things that are spiritual and kingdom of God related. It says you have not because you ask not. You see this? But it says you ask and receive not because you ask amiss. So in other words, you have not because you ask not. So we're going to ask and we're going to ask correctly during a fast and prayer collectively and individually. And it's going to be a powerful moment in our lives. First Corinthians 12, the particular gift you're fasting for is found in verse 10, where it says right here to another, you're given discerning of spirits. This is spiritual discernment of good and evil. And you're going to you're going to want this. Here's five verses. I'll put a link to this if you want to read them all about wisdom and discernment. I love this first Kings three, eleven and twelve. Look what it says, Saints. It says, God said to him, Because you have asked this thing and have not asked for yourself long life, nor have you asked riches for yourself, nor have you asked for the life of your enemies, but have asked for yourself discernment. Look at this. I feel the Holy Spirit all over me right now. You're going to receive this, saints. To understand justice. Behold, I have done according to your words. Behold, I have given you a wise and discerning heart. So that there has been no one like you before you, nor shall one like you arise after you. So you... It's biblical that you can ask. Let me read this one right here, James 1 and 5. But if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all generously and without reproach, and it will be given to him. So God does not a week, God does not need seven days or 40 days to decide whether you need more discernment or wisdom or not. He already knows. But what he's saying is he wants you to ask him for spiritual things and not ask for fleshly things and he will give you the desires of your heart god doesn't need 40 days to decide if you need more discernment or not so this is going to be a quick deal and i can't tell you when's going to god when god's going to give you the wisdom and gift of discernment but i can tell you because uh, i'm not god but i'm going to tell you it's going to be right on time at the exact moment you need it I fasted and prayed for these spiritual gifts and wisdom and discernment in this same exact fashion, writing it down on a piece of paper and asking God to keep his word. And he did for me. And now he has given a prophetic word that he will for you also. Here's the scriptures. And here's the instructions. God bless you.